Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. I've released quite a few videos uh, this week. Last weekend there was the 500 store exclusive Primaris uh, Lieutenant uh, along with Garcor Bladegeist uh, Revenant. I did my giveaway video which I'll talk about in a moment, the usual weekly news video. And I also put out uh, the two reviews um, on the Sunday, actually, of the exclusive miniatures, um, followed by a Warhammer Wednesday video um, where I unboxed uh, Kill Team Rogue Trader. Um, really want to get the standard um, Kill Team box set, but Games Workshop's still out of stock. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that unboxing of Rogue Trader. I will be going through those codexes and the separate models individually on the channel in the near future. So back to the giveaway. So how you can enter, as I said in my uh, separate video, you just be a, become a patron of the channel. You know, you can donate like a, a dollar or a pound or whatever. Um, and uh, basically once you've donated, um, I will then announce the winner. It'll be quite late tonight. I wanna give everybody enough uh, chance. Um, and then you'll win the uh, Primaris Lieutenant. I've got it here. Uh, I will post it anywhere in the world, wherever you live. There is also going to be a bigger giveaway um, for uh, YouTube um, subscribers as well. So you've still got time. Uh, I'm going to close the competition at about 10 o'clock uh, GMT. Uh, so if you're a Patreon after that, unfortunately, you won't be entered into that um, little giveaway. Uh, however, um, I would like to give away a free model every month um, if you stay a patron after this little competition. That's just my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Once again, thank you for the patrons that support the channel. On to the news then. So since last weekend, which was the 20th uh, of October, uh, the next day on the Sunday they had, next week, the codex you've been waiting for, they announced um, the Orc Codex. It says, this is the one you've been waiting for. Basically, it's transforming your favourite army into a flexible, fast and brutal force that represents the weird and wonderful ways in which the orcs go to war. That's true. Whenever I do think of orcs, I do think of them getting into melee as quickly as possible on bikes, on buggies, in planes. So you name it, all those fast, fast vehicles. And this was kind of like their preview of all the pre-orders that are out today. Um, so it starts off with the Orc Codex um, and the Digital Edition or the Interactive Edition and the Collector's Edition and then four vehicles. Unfortunately, Games Workshop tend to make the things that I predict happen, which is a real shame because I wish they didn't. I predicted last weekend that they wouldn't have those two vehicles in the Speed Freaks box set, which is £90, may I add, not have them up for individual kits um, with the release of all the others. And they've gone and done that. They haven't released them in the in the main bulk. If they do release them up for pre-order next weekend, then that's fine. If they keep them in that Speed Freaks box, then that is a real poor show. And that's something that I pointed out last weekend. It's just not right. They're new units. They're not exclusive in any shape or form. People want them. People want a shock drum uh, dragster. But people will rather pay 20 pounds or so for, for for one rather than um 90 pounds with you know a load of old bike models i know that's way of games workshop making money and i know that that's why they they go on the profitable kind of side of things however i think that those two models should be uh, released with the rest of these kits and um, speaking of which here are the four so you've got a mega track scrap jet which is this one basically they've just grabbed a jet and then put some wheels on it and nos and a cannon and some guns and just modified it even the pilot has um you know opted to to stay in the cockpit then you've got the boom dacker snaz wagon some gun guns and i'd love to put a pole on the top and have a mad max style snaz wagon and then the rucker truck squig buggy launches these explosive squigs and mine squigs and all kinds of things. I like the rip saws on the sides. They look pretty cool, especially if they extend. Um, so really, really great vehicles. And the war trike, again, as much as I love a knob on a bike, um, the war trike, I think it does have its place. You know, you've got a cup, you got the orc there and the uh, orc war boss with his claw. 
I think it still has its place, yeah. And it definitely will look cool with, with the other bikes. And then finally, they previewed the uh, Mechboy Workshop, um, which helps keep the buggies in fighting shape, apparently. Um, looks pretty cool. I'm just keen on some orc scenery. Uh, and then finally, the dice. I'm not sure how amazing these dice are, because obviously each side is not totally the same flat, if I want to say that. Um, all the edges have chips in, so how valid they are as dice, I'm, I wouldn't like to really comment that much. And then Sly Marvo returns. Um, you could have him last year Christmas time, that's when I first got him, um, and he hasn't been around since. So now he's making a comeback, and you can grab him as well if you if you wish. Um, so that was the, the news um, from the Warhammer Community webs website. They had a preview for the Legio Mortis uh, transfer sheet, if the website behaves itself. Um, and then some clan focuses, snake bites, goths, a spotlight on Soul Wars, a scenario about Necromunda, a little article about Inferno, uh, the Orc kit list, Throne of Skulls, another clan focus for Evil Sons, revealed at Spiel. Um, there's some new models that were revealed uh, at Spiel 18 in Essen in Germany, uh, which involved uh, Moloch's mob, um, which is accompanied by some squiggly beasts. Um, he's basically the king of mushrooms, and he'll be out for Blood Bowl, which is pretty good. And then you've got the Champions of Death, which look really quite a cool team. Um, so that was also previewed. And then an Ancient Evil rises, Necron players, um, you'll be able to get your super heavy um, vehicle finally uh, in the form of the Sareptek heavy construct. It looks absolutely incredible. I really like this uh, model. I think Darren has done it as well, Darren Parwood. Um, he did the Warlord Titan. Really impressed with his work on this one too. And uh, I'll have a more in-depth view of this uh, very shortly on the Forge World section of the video. Um, so that was up for pre-order yesterday. Another clan focus on Death Skulls and then a White Dwarf preview for November's issue. It's got Orcs on the front. They're pushing the October, even though it's the 27th of October. It would have been nice if this issue was October and it actually said October 2018 on it, but oh well, it says November. Um, so this is basically November's edition. I should be getting mine in the next few days. Of course, I will be doing my uh, you know first look video as always I always do that on this channel if you subscribe if you watch all the content that's what you're you're getting it looks like there's going to be a great big uh, battle here between orcs and tau see how they perform because the orcs do have a couple of shooty things in there but also some fast things some new buggies and the jets as well um, and tau are renowned for their their shooting so I, I really want to see orcs beat tau but who knows we'll have to find out for the uh for the battle report result but it would have been nice if they were up against primaris or uh you know typical space marines that would have been pretty cool and then some more focuses there dioramas at the warhammer world which is pretty impressive actually and that's it for the news uh on the community website um so not as much as last weekend um let's go over to uh forge world and have a look at the beautiful dragon again. No, let's just go to uh, new and pre-orders. And a couple of things are pre-orders and a couple of them aren't. The For some reason, I've still got the Vulcan collection and um, the Corvus collection up for pre-order. But the main pre-order uh, this week is the Necron Sareptek Heavy Construct. Um, you can order it with Singularity Generators or the Synaptic Obliterators and Transdimensional Projectors, or just on its own, or get the weapon separately. Now, I think I did say that I would have loved this model to have both sets of weapons included in it, and I really think it should have done. Even if they bumped up the price to, I don't know, £220, have a nice figure of £220, then you get all the weapons in it, um, much like the Astraeus tank, that has all the weapons in, in there. I understand that it is like an Imperial Knight sized model. I've seen it in the flesh. I've been to the events. I think £35 for these weapons is is pretty pricey, um, to be fair. I picked them up. I've seen the size of them. They're not in the same scale as uh, 
like the Vulcan Mega Bolter when that was £35 or so. I, I know that that's a bit more expensive and I know that this is two weapons. So in a way you're paying kind of £17 each. But still, I would have preferred the model just one option with both of the weapon sets included. And then you could mix and match. But it does have little cutouts for magnets. Very easily magnetizable, if that's a word. I think it is. So let's have a look at it um, with both of the weapons. So this is with the Singularity Generators. Uh, I actually prefer it with the obliterators. I prefer that weapon over these and I prefer the look of the weapon. These are the, the generators. It's a, it's a big, big model. Again, I don't know what on earth they're playing about at without showing any size comparisons. You can't really get a good feel of how big the model is. How difficult is it to just to put a Necron Warrior next to it? Come on. But you've got a 360 degree here, which again just shows it in a white space. It could be... Um, a small model you, you just can't really tell other than looking at this next to the pipeline um, so that is the Sereptek with the singularity generators and then this is it with the synaptic obliterators and the transdimensional projectors which I find are better looking weapons they're chunkier weapons longer weapons definitely longer range so there you go so that's that vehicle that's that super heavy walker. So both £200, whichever weapon you go for, or the body is obviously 165 separately. While I'm here, I might as well just go over the rules a little bit, um, but I don't want to spend too long on this model because um, there are a lot of orcs that have been up for pre-order today. But if you just look at this, it says that it can meet an Imperial Knight or Orc Stomper head on. It, it depends. I mean, I've already watched a few people's reviews of the rules. Um, and I've looked, I've got the Imperial, I've actually got the Imperial Knight credits next next to me as we as I'm talking. Um but if you compare it to like the Castellan, um the Castellan's Volcano Cannon is a longer range and it's a longer effective range because it's 90 inches effective range, whereas this thing is 88. So it's slightly less. In game terms, that probably is not gonna matter that much. I would always be using this with the synaptic obliterators on a large board. But it's got this pretty much the same stat line as the Castellan. It's, however, it's got six attacks instead of the four, and it can do more damage in close combat. So that begs the dilemma, you know, do you scuttle it 16 inches, um, you know, across the board to try and get it into combat? Because nothing's really going to have that much uh, effect on this toughness eight save of three plus and a five plus and vulnerable save uh, on it. Remember, the iron shield is for shooting only. Whereas this gets uh, its 5 plus and vulnerable save, no matter what, it's got its own containment field. But it is faster uh, than the Castellan, it's just that Obliterator is a little bit less range. But it is higher strength, but it doesn't have the ability to, to inflict more damage, if that makes sense. This is only damage 6, uh, and only damage and only AP minus 4, whereas the Volcano weapon is uh, minus 5 for AP. Plus on top of that, it gets this trans-dimensional trans -dimensional projector. Um, so it's kind of got a two weapon profile system with the melee uh, attacks which are better than the Castellan and a better uh, invulnerable save. However, the Castellan beats it in the effective range and the number of weapons it's got because as well as that it's got that plasma decimator weapon uh, and it's got the dual melter guns and then it's got the shield breaker missiles or the cannons. So total damage output, the Castellan beats it. And remember that's a £100 model. Um, but it is plastic, mass produced. This is, yes, it's double the price. And I wonder how much it would have cost if they did it in plastic. I would hope to see this in plastic, but I guess there's just not enough funds available um, to commit to making one of these, uh, you know, to giving Necrons a, a night sized vehicle um, yet, a night sized walker. But who knows, there's been plenty of models before, like the Bane Blade and the Trigon that have been resin and then they've made them into plastic. Anyway, I don't want to get too caught up with the uh, Sereptek Heavy Construct. I have pre-ordered mine, it is coming, and I will be giving you an unboxing and full review, obviously, as soon as I possibly can. That's the only thing on the 412 website to pre-order. Let's jump on over to the Games Workshop pre-orders now. This is all about orcs this weekend. Don't know if there's going to be any orcs next weekend, but let's have a look at uh, orcs for this weekend. Okay, let's do a uh, few all, high to low. 
with the release of these four new vehicles, they've kind of bundled them in the Speed Freaks um, collection, which is £90, so it's £110 they're charging for the, you know, the four vehicles, which I think they're like £27 each or something like that, and they've bundled them all in. For some reason, they've, they've shown the uh, Shock Grump drag Dragster and the, the other buggy with the bikes out of the box, but they're in the box. All that you're getting is just these four as well. That picture is a bit misleading because it looks like you're getting all those and a box of Speed Freaks. I personally wouldn't have had that. Um, I know people aren't that stupid um, to come to that conclusion, but I probably would have just stuck with these four next to the box. But, oh well, it's, it's Games Workshop's decision to do that. So you've got all of the new four vehicles there. And then you've got uh, Speed Freaks collection and the audio drama then you've got speed freaks themselves so none of those are on pre-order except for the four which are just bundled together um however this is where you get to the new stuff so you've got the it's called the warriors of gork and mort collection so you get the data cards the dice and the collector's edition codex which they all are 50 pounds let's have a look at this i'm really interested to see how many pages this is 136 pages mm, that's not too bad Probably the largest co old codex we've ever had, though. Um, 47 data sheets there. And, of course, uh, it's got um, soft touch cover with new artwork on the front and back. Black page edges. Would have been nice if it was dark green or green. And the black ribbon marker. All right. So that's uh, the collector's edition codex. This is the Essentials Collection, which has got the data cards and the dice and the book for £47.50. Um, Korax, Lords of Shadows, you can pre-order. I think you could pre-order before. Then Realm Slayer, a Gotrek Gurnison series, starring Brian Blessed as Gotrek. That's got to be fun. Um, that'll be good. good listen, I think. Uh, Black Talon Collection, uh, first mark with the miniature. Um, Pre-order Orc War Boss uh, Grux Boss Mob. Now, I think you couldn't get this for a while, but it um, includes uh, War Boss Grux uh, with this attack squig, which I do have that model for, and um, five knobs. So you've got your War Boss and your, your five knobs in a box. Then you've got the new vehicles. So you've got the Mega Track uh, Scrap Jet. All the new vehicles are really easy. They're £27.50. Quite pricey, in my opinion. I would have gone for... £22 or £25, £27.50 is so close to that £30 mark, which is, you know, you're almost in sort of tank territory, I think. Um, but let's have a look at them uh, all individually. So this is the scrap jet. Obviously it looks like parts of a jet, but but they've now put uh, kind of an all-terrain um, drive system on the back. Um, looks pretty good. I think it's only going to be one sprue. Dare I say it? Is it one sprue? Product information? No. This kit comes with 65 components. Does that look like 65? It doesn't, does it? I think there's another sprue. So it could be two sprues in there. I would hope it's two sprues. But that's a good look at that. I like how they've put kind of like some kind of uh, mapping system on there, some kind of drive system. Pretty cool. Uh, and one of the rockets is uh, is mid mid deployment, and then it's even got um, guns at the back too, um, some kind of point defense guns with a little grot um, aiming both of those. Nice, nice looking vehicle. I like that one. Uh, the Boom Dacker Snazwagon. Let's have a look at that. So again, twenty seven pound fifty. Uh, you've got the Orc War Boy in the back. Hurling a Molotov, basically, or a burner bottle, and then you've got this little gimp. I mean, this little Gretchen on the front, um, in kind of like a Tom Hardy um, position with the little. It's definitely a nod to that, surely. And um, they've had a lot of fun with these models. You can tell. <laughs> um, really look good looking model. So yeah, that's the Boom Dacker Snazwagon. Seems like there's lots of uh, Dacker on there with the three barrels and so on so that's that uh snaz wagon then the squig buggy which is my favorite i think um because they are launch <laughs> because they're just crammed full of squigs that's why it's my favorite right there it's got these um blades that obviously come out and you know decapitate or uh 
cut people in half, and then you've got these mine, mine delivery system, um, and then you've just got all these squigs, which would be so cool to sort of paint them in different colors, and then you've just got this little dude like chilling out here, and this one, and then some kind of fly type squig thing. Some more images, not very happy, not a happy bunny. That one has got a very demented face, He's just loving the ride. So yeah, that's the squig book. It's definitely my favorite, it looks really cool. And then, final one is the Death Killer War Tribe. Um, again, I think it will go well um, with the bikes, um, and I think I will put it on a base, but I don't think I've put any of the buggies on, a, on their bases. Their vehicles, I, you know, the War Truck's not on a base. I think I'd be happy without them. Um, but yeah, quite a straightforward one, almost like, Halloween in a way the those parts of the bike don't know if there's anything in there but lots of dacker on that very good paint job obviously they've done a superb job with the lenses and the uh, kind of ghost um, bandana so that again that's £27.50 um, so they're all £27.50 all the new new vehicles quite pricey interesting direction they've gone in to, to release four that are the same price and that are only like vehicles rather than having you know like a new Gazgul or a new war boss i mean obviously not, you can have that as a war boss um or even just a, a new box of uh orcs if that makes sense um and again disappointed that they haven't uh put out the the two new vehicles from the speed freak set out into the wild as well separately hoping they do that and i'm hoping it's very soon because at the moment i think this consensus is people don't really want to spend 90 pound on six old bikes and a game um just to get those two models and now that games workshop has released all of these separately you might get one orc player go right i wouldn't mind a war trike or i wouldn't mind that squig buggy you know so instead of paying like Getting a few vehicles, they're now probably only going to sink their money into into getting one, maybe the Codex too. Speaking of which, I don't know why they've put them on here just to advertise that they're out of stock, but you can't get Commandos, you can't get Tank Busters. There's the new Codex, we've already established it's 136 pages, um, but this is another new thing, the Mechboy Workshop. Right here, it's £25, and I pre-ordered that too, um, so we'll have a good look at that. Looks like you get a lot of scenery here. Look at look at what you get. You get all that scenery, all barricades, and then you get the workshop itself. I think that's pretty good. Although, looking at the plastic, looking at the, the darkness of it, I don't think it's, uh, I say DW, I don't think it is um, UK. I think this is a China-made kit, much like all of their scenery pretty much is, which is a little bit worrying because Orcs, generally have a lot of detail, um, lots of nuts and bolts and things. I think they've done an okay job, but I will be going through the um, scenery with the tooth comb. I think it looks a bit childish in a way because there's a mix of different, you know, reds and, and yellows, um, but we'll see. Maybe it's just the color scheme. It just doesn't look as grim dark, especially with these lights as well. But anyway, we'll, we'll go through that kit in detail once it arrives. So that's the mech boy workshop for £25. For some reason they've got the War Biker mob as up for pre-order. They're not actually new. All they've done is they've painted them yellow to go with um, lots of the other vehicles and things and put them up for, for pre-order for some reason. I don't know why they've done this, but if you want to get bikes separately, um, they're not available on GW's website. You've got to pre-order them right now. Um, Gaskell Thracker they've just put up there as a pre-order but he's just temporarily uh, unavailable. Uh, Heralds of Siege Hardback, £20. I don't know whether they've all be, always been £20. I thought that they were £18 um, but no doubt that will come out in paperback in the next couple of months I would have thought. Um, you can get the Codex E publication um, pre-order Orc Boys for some reason but they're just the normal Orc Boys but the Black Talon Hardback you can pre-order that separately for £18. For some reason pre-order Burner Boys, Storm Boys, Knobs, the Pain Boy, and the Looters, but they're all the same models as they were before. This Orc Knob with a wire banner, he's been around before, the Orc Mech was, um, which I think I have. Uh, Sly Marbo, you can pre-order because 
he was only available last Christmas, so he's he's back. But the Orc dice, they look pretty good. I've pre-ordered them. We'll go through and, and have a closer look at those. Um, Prophets of Wild, that was up for pre-order again, apparently. Mad Doc Grotznik, he's just out of stock. Pre-order the data cards, some Gretchen. He's the build Orc Boys, £6. The Voice of Mars is now available in paperback for £9. Pretty good. And then you got the White Dwarf and the Sacrosanct and other stories, which I think was a pre-order last week. Um, but there you go. So not a huge amount of orcs when you dig through them. All right, we're looking here at four vehicles, some scenery, and a codex. That's what we're looking at. It would have been nice to have a couple more box sets, uh, maybe something along the Stomper line or, or the Gorkonaut side side of things we're fine for jets thank you very much we've got like four different jets for um orcs four different flyers maybe a copter uh a chin orc maybe i don't know but um the def copters i would have loved to have seen them um bring bring some new def copters out and maybe uh some kind of tank or something um who knows maybe there's something in the pipelines maybe forge world uh, are working on some some extra things for orcs but as it stands this is very very much speed focused very much speed freaks focused and at present unfortunately you can't get those two um buggies which are good looking buggies i really like the dragster and uh that is the one that i was most looking forward to getting separately it was that then the squig buggy so unfortunately those three they fall third place or fourth place compared to the drag I was really hoping to get that but at the moment I'm not willing to spend 90 pounds just to get it I'll wait until it's separate which hopefully won't be too long anyway I could go on and on about speed freaks and orcs and the different models and things I know this video has gone on for a long time already and um, so we'll leave it there it's starting to rain and hail and all kinds of things so hope Hopefully you're having a lovely weekend indoors, building models, painting models, playing games, playing Red Dead Redemption 2 probably. So thank you for taking a break from that to watch this video and listen to my voice. If you have pre-ordered any of the new Orc releases, please do put it in the comments below. Or if you've pre-ordered that awesome looking uh, Necron construct, um, again put it in the comments. Um, be great to hear from you, be great to see uh, which ones that you, you're getting and which ones you're looking forward to the most. Once again, just remind you, there's still a bit of time uh, for you to enter into the free giveaway by becoming a patron to the channel. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.